Hey, this is Matt Baker with TulsaWorld.com slash Sports Extra here with Barry Lewis and it's week eight of the high school football season. Regular season kind of winding down, but we got some big games in 6A. Barry, let's start with uh, Union and Bartlesville and what should be a high scoring game? Yes, there could be a lot of offensive fireworks on Thursday night with Union and Bartlesville. Two of the top three wide receiver combos will be on display there that night and it's uh, Bartlesville really seems to have it going after sputtering early in the season and uh, it could really be 44-34 uh, type of ball game and uh, it's a chance for Bartlesville to show that it is a serious playoff contender. Yeah and deal uh, Union its first district loss since what? Like... Since Matt Holiday was playing quarterback. Hey, there we them. go. <laughs> uh, another good game in 6A is going to be Bigsby and Owasso. Bigsby came up huge last week down 16 points in the second half somehow got held on for a 2019 win over Enid. Suddenly they're in the playoff picture in one of those two uh, four spots in that district and the other team they're battling at 2-2 two and two is Owasso. Case and Keys had a great season, but certainly this is a huge game for both for both teams. I, I don't think anyone expected Owasso to miss the playoffs this year, but it went over Bixby and that's what we might be looking at. Now Barry, let's go down to 4A for a minute. Uh, you saw Wagner with that big win over Uluga last week, but the Bulldogs have another tough test this week against Catusa. Yes, Catusa lost by only one point to Uluga two weeks ago. And of course, Uluga took Wagner till late in the fourth quarter last week, so there's no reason not to think that this game shouldn't go down to the wire. I mean, I'm expecting it to go down to the very end, but I think I would give Wagner the slide edge. Prince McJunkins is, as far as I'm concerned, the best quarterback in 4A, and he gives them that edge that I think is going to carry Wagner to victory this week and perhaps all the way to the state title. Yeah, another quarterback to keep an eye on this week is a guy who may or may not play, uh, Southmore's Kendall Thompson. You know, he was held out at the 56-28 loss to, to Broken Arrow the other night in a game I saw, but Southmore really needs a win. They've got a huge test in Jinx. I, I, I don't know if I can expect the Trojans to lose. I, the way they played, I certainly don't think so. But if, if Kendall Thompson's healthy, uh, you know, he can give those guys a run for their money. Heck, we saw him do it last year in the uh, state semifinals. Yes, I believe last year that game was 44-28, to very exciting game. But whether Kendall Thompson plays or not, Southmore's defense has got to show a lot of improvement this week if, it has, if Southmore's going to have a chance against Jenks. Certainly. Uh, Barry, a bunch of other good games this week. Let's kind of run them down. Start with uh, B.A. Norman. Norman, biggest surprise in 6A. And, of course, Broken Arrow, 6-1, and one, Norman, 7-0. and oh. Uh, can Norman stop Archie Bradley? I don't think so, but uh, we'll see on Thursday night. Uh, another game that sort of came from out of nowhere is Cleveland at Glenpool. Cleveland, huge surprise this year in Class 4A at 6-1. and one. Glenpool is Glenpool. Glenpool has routed Cleveland the past few years. Don't expect a route on this Thursday, though. Henrietta begs. Always a great rivalry, so this game's always circled before the season by people in those communities. But this year, there's a lot at stake in the game. Henrietta won last year's game, and it was their only win of the year. This year, a district title is at stake. And Holland Hall looks to stay unbeaten. Yes, Hall, on Friday night, Houston St. John's visits Holland Hall. Houston St. John's could be a preview of the SBC title game. It will, at the very least, be a battle for the top seed in the SBC standings. Yeah, and before we let you go, I got two uh, two quick names I'm kind of that kind of opened my eyes uh, last week. First, Ramsey Hamilton at Beggs, uh, finally kind of living up to the potential, 260 yards and and their win. And uh, the other guy is Braden Scott at Tahlequah Sequoia. His second, you know, he's known for his arm. He's already he's a sophomore. He's already got two D1 offers, but doing it with his legs. Second game this season, a game-winning touchdown for him. So we'll see what they have in store uh, this week and the rest of the season. A lot of major colleges are after those two players. Yeah, a lot of those guys will be watching this week. Well, that's all for now. We'll see you here next time at TulsaWorld.com slash SportsExtra.